Hello and welcome back. We have a special video on one of my, what was, so to speak, my favourite tier 8 premium match made tanks. The T95E2. Probably one of the most universally despised tanks within the community itself. Um, more so of today rather than previously. I really wanted to make a really nice video on this. I wanted to make a really nice video of the tank itself, how well it does in game, how much I actually enjoy the tank itself, and just its pure awesomeness. I, however, have been shafted, I presume. Either that or they have really, really fecked around with this tank a little bit too much. As it actually is, I mean, I'm giving credit where it's due, the tank's armour doesn't actually seem to be too bad, and it actually isn't from the front. Even hull down, and even that big, massive, mahoosive, dirty, horrible weak spot on top is still a bit trolley, and can bounce a few shells, and it's not exactly like the front of the turret is uh, easy to pen. Going hull down, especially with the angle that is on the front, as you can see there, that's still like 121mm, so it's fairly decent. If it's not the armour then, what else is an issue? Well, the max speed and mobility of the tank is poor. It has the turning circle of the orbit for the moon. It really doesn't turn that well. But it's not too bad. It can, on average, maybe go around about 46 kph, which isn't too shabby at all. Um, I have been able to get out of a few difficult situations with the tank speed. And, yeah, it's, it's, it can get you out of a sticky situation on a regular basis. So, with that being said, the camera rating, meh, not really usable because most of the times I actually use this tank and go forward, I do tend to want to go forward and be aggressive in the face of people and you can do that. It has a relatively good reload, about 8, eight seconds, 8 9 seconds depending on the crew, what equipment you've got. In my uh, example here, I've got vertical stabiliser, enhanced, enhanced gun laying drive and the medium tank gun rammer. The latter two should give you reasons to what makes this tank not very good. The gun. The gun is terrible in a lot of scenarios. It can snapshot really well, and it can aim true on some occasions. Others, it will decide in its infinite wisdom, it's going to go west, or east, north, south, anywhere where it's not specifically your aiming. For example, I could hit a 110 in its lower front plate, or upper front plate, I couldn't tell because the range was actually really quite far, twice in a row and I did damage. Hit a Type 59 in the side from more or less a two thirds of the distance closer. No, the shot grounded. This gun is so trolley, it's not even funny. Even compared to every other tank, it's terrible. Its aim time is 2.3 and accuracy is 0.36. Doesn't seem too bad. It really doesn't, especially when you compare it to, say, for example, the Panther 88, another premium tier 8 match made tank, which is a medium tank, it's the German one. Its aiming time is 2.5, and its accuracy is 0.32. So its aiming time is a lot larger, but its accuracy is a little bit less. The penetration is one of the things. Standard on this one is 173mm. That is, I mean, without using many expletive words, shit. The Panther 88 gets 203. Its rate of fire is 8.4, uh, 8.69. This is only 8. Yes, its penetration on the heat goes up to 250. And yes, the Panther 88 is only 237. Same alpha, but that's irrelevant to the point. But we're not taking into account the fact that the gun, if, if you can't even hit. I mean, if you want to make silver in this tank, it does make silver, like a load of silver, and it can do. But really, 173 millimeters of penetration? I know it only goes up to tier nine, but God almighty, good luck hitting anything that isn't in the side of the tank, which may not be always the case that you can do. And a lot of the times you will find yourself trying to aim at targets which are either of lower tier or of ones that you know you can actually pen. Now bearing in mind, this gun does troll, so you can hit another T95E2 with heat rounds in the front and it will bounce because of reasons. We'll go on to another example, so we'll, we'll keep it on this screen. Um, the next example tank that I'm going to use in my little mini rant is... One which a lot of people don't understand has even been touched by Wargaming for all aspects. And we'll ignore the sirens that are going on outside because they're always in here and they're always running around everywhere. We're going straight back on top of it, the SDA-2. 
that's the tank I'm looking at here. It's another premium match made tank, tier 8, and it is amazing. 8.44 with the rounds per minute, slightly higher. It's still using a 90mm gun. Its aiming time is 2.1. Its accuracy is only 0.37. But its standard shell penetration is 212mm. And you want to know what the penetration is on the premium rounds? 275 on a tier 8 premium match made tank. How? This tank has been touched by wargaming many times. They'd be locked up immediately for the amount of times that this tank has been touched in different areas. The T95E2, no love whatsoever. I don't get it. I really did enjoy playing this tank. It has a lot of good features for it, but they've been slowly eroded away. And I'll try and get some examples of some games where it doesn't go so well, and maybe I'll have a, a, a like a, um, a comparison between that and the STA2, but it really pales in comparison to what is available. And I genuinely, I don't really play the Panther 88 that much, because why would you, when the STA2 is quite frankly, so much better. It's gonna have the same earning statistics with regards to silver and XP, but it has a gun which can actually aim. And yes, whilst the armor on the STA2 isn't fantastic, its mobility is actually quite good. And when you have a gun that has a very similar reload um, better stats in regards to gun handling capabilities and a much better chance of penetration you can play peekaboo and be safe in the knowledge that if you are going to snapshot someone you're likely to pen them and when it comes down to earning silver at the end of the game you want to be penning people and the T95E2 just doesn't do that for some reason I'll try and play a couple of games and I'll try and give a, an examples of engagements whereby the gun seems to be a bit trolley. Uh, server recul would really, really help in these scenarios with the T95V2. Having said that, it would still likely go anywhere it actually physically wants. So, without further ado, we're going to nip into a game, we're going to see how it handles, we're going to try and compare it between that and the STA2, because why not compare it to a tank which has been touched all over by Wargaming, because apparently it needed to be buffed for, I don't know, logic, reasons, um, Area 51, Illuminati, but we'll, we'll jump into a game, we'll see the differences between the two, and which ones, in specific engagements, I will try and get uh, similar engagements between the two tanks, but I'm going to go into a public game and anything can happen, and I try and play towards silver earning, so there might be some variances, but it's all fun and games, we'll see what happens, and we're going to jump straight in with a game with the STA2 on Prokhorovka. Now, I've played five games in the T95E2, and I played five games in the STA2. The STA2 I found two games where I'm in tier 9s. Uh, this is one being an example, but it was still a game that I took note of, um, even though the T95E2 I played tier 8 games in primarily just those, because I noticed with the T95E2 you are better placed shooting people of a lower tier if you can do because your penetration allows you to go through them. Fortunately because the STA2 has much more penetration Shooting the sides of tier 9 tanks, hello Mr. M46 pattern, not a difficult issue. Unless it's an E75, then it tells me to go and jump off a cliff. But that's going to be coming up. So I took the games with a, you could say a pinch of salt, they were only really um, a light measurement. You can't really get too much from 5 games in each, but I wanted to give a, an example. So the reason why I say the gun is trolley on the T95E2 and not as good as, as an example in this, the STA2, is that in games where you are bottom tier or uh, what would invariably be mid tier, can't be bottom tier unless it decides it's not going to show any tier 7s in, you perform better and you will get more from it. So the games that I ended up playing in overall aspects of it, the STA2 outperformed the T95E2 and with little effort. So the, the the stats themselves, as the game goes on, you can have a line ganders. God knows where that round went, but it went off massively wild. In this particular example, um, on Proc Rocker, I fired 23 shells in total. 18 hit a target, so they actually hit it, um, not necessarily penned it. 13 shots penned it in total. I had 2,783 damage, and I made 83,000 silver. 56% hit ratio, which considering it isn't amazing but then with my other games I never really hit above 
57. I had four games where I had 57,000 or less in the T95 E2 with one game that hit 104. With the STA, the lowest amount I had was about 62,000 silver. I made a hell of a lot more. Um, the overall aspects of the, the game itself I'll go into um, a little bit later on when we're in the T95 E2. But again, specifically when it comes to this game in particular, the tanks are up top, the M103, the 75, the Centurion. Nice big flat targets, easy to penetrate, not difficult with the STA2, a little bit more difficult with the uh, T95 E2 because of the fact it does like to troll a lot more than other tanks. But I was more than capable of being able to take shots and actually deal damage knowing that it's going to go into the side. And, as you'll see later on, when it comes to it, it's able to penetrate other tanks that are fast moving, ones that are difficult to hit. Uh, either through the fact they're hold down or they're a bit move well moving really fast or just in a really difficult area and this is what i like about this tank not least of which the maneuverability is a lot better than the t95 b2 and doesn't have an orbit as a turning circle and i mean i'm not making this video to be a bash of the t95 b2 i really love it and what i want to see happen from this is not just to complain to high heavens about it i actually want to see that this tank is buffed changed and um, i want to see the gun improve the mobility of it perfectly fine i mean as far as things go it's livable what isn't livable is a really terrible gun when you take into consideration the sta2 is a main compar comparison between each of the tanks because why the hell would i play the t95 e2 when i can play the sta and have a much better game uh, both experience i feel like i can do more I might invariably in some games have very similar aspects, so I'll end up penning the same, I'll end up getting the same amount of silver, but I'll have a lot more fun playing it. Um, I don't normally play games for fun, I play to win, and uh, that's where I suppose my fun comes from, but the STA, I'm more willing to take risks with shots, the, the Centurion there being a prime example. Fortunately, get a nice little uh, tracking hit from the M103, and I return the favour by killing him. Again, not exactly a massive bloom, but it was a fair amount, and it was hitting an M103 to here above me, and I still managed to get the penetrating hit. I would like to see the accuracy being one of the things to improve, as well as the penetration. I don't understand how the standard penetration over the shell can be 173 millimeters. That is really, really poor. If you compare it to these tanks as well as others, maybe non-premium tech tree tanks as well. You could compare it to those. It's outclassed. The view range isn't particularly amazing, but considering how I physically use the T95 E2, I feel more of a brawler, peekaboo, try and stick with people. I don't try and take it forward. Fortunately, what we have here is nice, soft, luscious French tank targets and a couple of object drivers that really don't know what to do other than to YOLO. Got a nice shot into the upper front. How on earth that penetrated, I don't know, but there you go, that, that can happen. And his teammate comes along, I get a nice shot into the underneath of his tank. And now I'm gonna presume that overmatched, or it was undermatched. Basically, I don't think it should have penetrated, but did. Maybe that's just the trolliness of the tank itself, but both of them got absolutely wrecked. The game itself um, went relatively well for our team, specifically for me itself, it was one of the best games that I actually played, uh, more so on the premise of how much silver I own, which is about 83,000. Whilst I didn't get a good hit ratio, that's all good. I'll certainly take that any day of the week, considering that I had a lot of fun playing in it, and I actually felt like I had a contribution to the game, rather than sitting back and watching, ah, maybe this might not be a good idea. So, we're going to move on to the T95 E2. And here we have the T95 E2. We're on mines. We have the rear spawn. I am not going to challenge the hill. That would be suicide. They've got far too many fast mediums, far too many tanks that will get up there quickly. I'm going to do what I normally try and do and go around the south side, uh, up near towards the lighthouse, and try and in some way get shots off into the middle. If I can do, get shots off to people coming on the side. Maybe have like a stalemate. And hopefully the game isn't over too quickly whereby I could have some sort of normal positive impact. What I will be showing in this game is the trolley nature of the gun, including premium ammunition. Specifically, that tank, the Jag Tiger 88. Now, 
there are obviously going to be places where I don't actually aim properly. Um, I'm trying to do a bit of a snapshot. That is what happens in normal games, and the STA2 is better for that. I didn't feel with this tank I had any real chance and opportunity to do well. Get a track, I mean that was directly into his tracks, so that's perfectly acceptable. There is a track enough to go towards as well, so I was trying to get that as well. Unfortunately there he did turn towards me. Now it starts getting a bit more of the trolley nature of the gun. Um, more so on the penetration side. Don't know where that went, but apparently it hit his tracks. I aimed more or less in the middle of his tank, and I didn't exactly move a large amount. I switched back to standard ammunition because it should go through the lower front plate, but no. The slight angle of me being above him negates that as a factor, and it's a no from that as well. So I'm going to switch back to premium ammo, because at least at this point I can probably try and hit his upper front plate. Although with the way the game's going after the first couple of minutes, it's not going to be likely that anything good is going to come from it. All well and figured, this is what happens with mines, especially when people don't play it properly. And again, upper front plate from above, didn't pen, questionable, I believe it should have done, but didn't. And it's only now that apparently the lower front plate shot, I can actually penetrate. Really annoying. The game itself was very poor on... <laughs> on the front of people who just don't know how to play the game properly but shit happens overall in this specific game I had 18 shots fired with 9 hit 50% hit ratio I only made 50,000 silver with 2.2k damage that was pretty much the average I had over the games over all 5 games I played in the T95E2 I did 11.478k damage the STA2 I did 11.8k I had a total of 87 shots fired in the T95E2 and I penned 51. 90 shots in the STA2 and I penned 55. I made 312,000 silver in the T95E2 and 367 in the STA2. That was over the course of five games and yes it was taken into account two tier 9 games that I played in the T uh, STA2 but it actually performs well in a tier 9 game so there is that and at the moment as it is because of the way the game has gone in this specific sense I'm only clutching at straws so most of the damage or most of the hits that I get in this game are going to be on people that are um, not in the best position to be able to get me at the moment I'm behind a lot of cover they're going to have to come really come get me if they want to which is all well and good and I just try and get a bit of extra damage I don't know what happened there apparently hit his gun but you know again med so the, this specific part you can only really take with a pinch of salt of course I'm going to get damage from it that is going to be inevitable there isn't many people left they are going to have to come around the corner unfortunately this would have been a very good spot to go forward in and be the one to move forward it's just the fact because people decided to die quickly on the hill it didn't quite work out that way but you make the best of a bad situation 12 damaging hits you'll take it you'll see how it goes Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. 50,000 silver at the end of the game, not ideal. And a lot of the reason why it's not very much silver is because I couldn't pen the Jag Tiger 88 in some occasions, but could in others. But it was a perfect illustration of the gun itself and how iffy, trolley, not amazing it can be. Um, so it, if there was anything to take away from this, the T95E2 is a good medium tank. I really enjoy playing it on maps whereby you don't have to worry about aiming so if you can get close quarter if you have people behind you helping that's where it can come in use if you have cover and um, for example a mines in that specific spot as long as your team doesn't decide to fold really quickly you can actually then push around and maybe track people maybe get people to go forward and um, hopefully cause like a stalemate in the middle if that happens then you can push forward and then you can have a little bit of a better game so it is very dependent on what your team does, but it can hold itself. I just feel the STA2 outclasses it. The mobility, the gun handling, the penetration of the gun itself, just so much better. At least over the five games itself, the STA2 outperformed the T95E2. Um, we are taking into account, like I say, the Tier 9 game, but I just feel that if it was, if it was over a larger amount of games, you would still have the same picture. The STA2 would fare better than the T95E2. And as clarification, 
I played the games as a base of getting silver. So if there wasn't a need to fire premium ammunition, I wouldn't fire it. But if there was a need to fire it, as is the case against an Oho and a Jag Tiger 88, then I will fire it and I got screwed over for it. But I hope this was informative as much as it was a rant for me to get something off my chest other than this horrible, horrible cough that I've got going on. Maybe it would hopefully give them an idea of what needs to change. The penetration would be one of them. Stop having the gun having terrible penetration that will just not go through anything of its tier. That you have to be so careful of what you actually hit and you try and hit on armor targets. You aren't doing your job properly as a tier 8 tank if you could only penetrate tier 7s or below. Because there are going to be games when you're going to be coming across fatherlands, which my STA negates Russian armor somehow. So, you know, reasons. But... I hope it was informative and I do hope the tank gets itself changed. If you did manage to survive the entire video, well played, because uh, it's quite a long one, but it is specifically a long one because I wanted to get this off my chest and uh, show you all. If you did like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and well done again for making it to the end. Thank you very much and goodbye.